benign vascular tumors, hemangiomas. Hemangiomas are very common tumors composed of blood-filled vessels. Hemangiomas constitute 7% of all benign tumors of infancy and childhood. Most are present from birth and initially increase in size, but many eventually regress spontaneously. Infantile hemangiomas are the most common vascular tumors, followed by congenital hemangiomas, which include rapidly involuting congenital hemangioma, non-involuting congenital hemangioma, and partially involuting congenital hemangioma subtypes. While hemangiomas typically are localized lesions confined to the head and neck, they occasionally may be more extensive, angiomatosis, and can arise internally. Nearly one-third of these internal lesions are found in the liver. Malignant transformation is very rare. Capillary hemangiomas. It is the most common type of vascular tumor. Most common locations are skin, subcutaneous tissues, and mucous membranes of oral cavities and lips. The least common sites are liver, spleen, and kidneys. Grossly, they are unencapsulated lesions measuring from one millimeter to several centimeters. Histologically, they are comprised of thin-walled capillaries with scant stroma. Juvenile hemangiomas, a variant of capillary hemangioma. So-called strawberry hemangiomas of the newborn skin. They are extremely common, 1 in 200 births, and can be multiple. These grow rapidly for a few months, but then begin to regress after 1 to 3 years with complete regression by the age of 7. Pyogenic granulomas Lobular capillary hemangiomas Pyogenic granulomas are capillary hemangiomas that manifest as rapidly growing red pedunculated lesions on the skin, gingival, or oral mucosa. Microscopically, they resemble exuberant granulation tissue. They bleed easily and are often ulcerated. 25% lesions usually develop after trauma, reaching approximate size of 1 to 2 cm within a few weeks. Pregnancy tumor or granuloma gravidarum is a pyogenic granuloma that occurs infrequently. 1% of patients in the gingiva of pregnant women. These lesions may spontaneously regress, especially after pregnancy, or undergo fibrosis, but occasionally require surgical excision. Cavernous hemangiomas. Cavernous hemangiomas are composed of large, dilated, vascular channels. Compared with capillary hemangiomas, Cavernous hemangiomas are more infiltrative, frequently involve deep structures. They may be locally destructive and do not regress, so surgical excision may be required in some cases. Most common organs involved are skin, liver, and occasionally the brain. On histologic examination, the mass is sharply defined but unencapsulated and is composed of large cavernous blood-filled vascular spaces separated by connective tissue stroma. Intravascular thrombosis with associated dystrophic calcification is common. More often the tumors are of little clinical significance but they can be cosmetically troublesome and are vulnerable to traumatic ulceration and bleeding. Cavernous hemangiomas constitute one component of von hippel lindau disease, in which vascular lesions are commonly found in the cerebellum, brainstem, retina, pancreas, and the liver.